All right, so there's only one more to do, and it's Gloria. So let's just go do Gloria here. Oh! No. Didn't mean to. Okay. If you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. So probably the saddest level in all of Psychonauts. Mm-hmm. Gloria is so underrated. She really is. Probably the only member of Phony Towers to not be traumatized by something stupid. <laughs> Okay, Becky, and get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Meanwhile, Everybody Oatmeal being noisy. <laughs> yeah. And our big star, Bonita Oatmeal's Sinclair, having got fun. Stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. He also has Rayman's disorder. Yeah. A little pep talk. That had acting lessons. You can get Bonita to take the stage again. And you're the go star Oatmeal, you should here. be the star. Atheists be like, go Oatmeal. <laughs> All right, fortunately, this level isn't very hard, like, at all, except for the fucking boss fight. The boss fight is tedium in the extreme. But as for the figments and cobwebs and everything, it's trivially easy, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. But it is very tedious. Saxophone. Oh, I like this one. That one? Uh. The cat? I already picked it up. Oh. I'll show it to you. Oh, the pig thing? Yeah, whatever. Hog? New Billy. New Billy. <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's only one vault in this level. That's messed up. Wait, really? That's we. That's not right. Huh. Well, maybe it's in the other part yeah. of this level. I will get into moving ones. I just hate them. I know you do. Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. I can't light him on fire. Then what's the fucking point? Got it. Hey, guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Guess she doesn't want to see anyone. That's shield. Damn it. Guess she doesn't want to see anyone right now. Nice hint. Which I couldn't figure out when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking at you. I'm too busy taking all your figments. Not her things. Not her drink. Not her mirror. That was a gift from the Prince of Romania. Oops, you already spoiled it. <laughs> right? I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when- Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Salah. Haha, <laughs> funny transphobia. Her, of Gloria Van Gogh, <laughs> her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want? An autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. <laughs> So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? 
This is what cop sounds like. Yes! If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think this is the real, this is the rare combination of a caretaker altar and a persecutory and a altar. And light <laughs> I'll come out and give the show one last try, but I'm not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, out to the fucking storage room. And look, a vault. So we got Gloria's cruel training. Gloria grew up in the Hagatha home for girls. She was jumped off by her fucking horrible mom. And they treated her terribly and forced her to learn ballet. And how to sing. And how to do other things, like more ballet. <laughs> and be on the play. And, you know, do Romeo and Juliet? I don't know. Yeah, it sucked. She grew up in a shitty orphanage. Or maybe not, it wasn't an orphanage, it was a girls' school, it was a boarding school. I love how you said her shitty mom. Am I wrong? King Saint-Pete, King Saint-Pete, King Saint-Pete, King Saint-Pete, King Saint-Pete, King Saint-Pete. That was actually King Saint-Pete. I forgot how much this fucking art inspired my doodles. I know, it's crazy looking at like the cats and the birds and stuff. Look, look so fucking many fucking cat. like cobwebs in here. She's got a lot of cobwebby memories. Aren't there supposed to be enemies in here? Are there? No? Huh. I don't remember there being... Are there really just not a lot of enemies in this uh, level? Nope. Gloria as well doesn't really have any sensors, huh? I... No, she does. Just oh. not here. Oh, good. She has a healthy mind then, otherwise. It's I'm a matter of perspective. I'm pretty sure there's tons in the uh, boss fight area. All right. All right, well, get the spotlight. Yeah. In fact, you only have one cobweb left, so... Maybe that's the problem. It's not a lot of cobwebs, they're just all front-loaded. So here's the main gimmick of the level. Gloria's Manic Depression. And naturally, you need to light it, right? So right now she is manic! Yay! Happy! Happy! Bonita right, Soleil is about to take the stage! Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight! Oh I'm god! Playing the part of Gloria von Guten, the famous actress! In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical Sunshine Shenanigans! And where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Played tonight, once again, by Lolita Soleil. Yay! Yay! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, funny, it could be funny. Kid, if you want it was to 2005. Movie, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock him dead. I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets. Sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos, or worse. 
improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. Well, you know how I feel about same strange stuff. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Happy. Puppy. Puppy. A human child. Ah. Good boy. No. Good. We're going for a ride. No, I'm on fire. Ow, 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 on fire. Ruff, ow, ow, ow. I never noticed that if you light people on fire, there's a laugh track. Because <laughs> it's very funny. Birds, too. Can I lift the birds? No. Can you punch them? There's a portal. Me on Twitter. <laughs> So the portal's the fun gimmick. Yeah, of quotably fun. So here's how we learn about Gloria's oh, life. God, dear mother, do you not love my new seaside mansion? But with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? Yes, Gloria, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. <laughs> we are so lucky to be together again so that I could share it all with you. And also that you are not even jealous of my youth and fame, though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, which has so quickly faded. Yes! Yes! yes. Yay! So there's fun platforming and stuff. We have a lot of fun here, right? Oh, there's even more in the foreground. Oh, there's some sneaky ones, huh? No, there isn't. No, that's a piece of cardboard. Yay! Yes! Oh, here. So what the fuck is the trick here? To do it right. Oh, who would have thought that I, Gloria Von Gluten, would be Gloria Von Gluten. <laughs> Syrup. They leave their mouths wide open because they're so happy. 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 Are you happy? Happy. Happy. Good boy. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, the cardboard water! Oh, yeah! I can show this off, at least. Ooh! <laughs> so, yeah, not even cardboard water is safe. So, like, do you have to roll the opposite way? That's probably not it. I feel like I might want to just progress. 
Sure. Because let's at least show you how. Boom swing. Gloria is now depressed. Sad. Just a little joker. Field train. Oh God! <laughs> Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Nope. Enemies. Actual enemies. Yep. What the fuck? Oh god, Everything. what did you do? Well, I killed the children, so... Good. Not all the children. New Billy, too. Oh, shit. Oh, I remember what you do, yes. You were supposed to switch over here because you can climb up on the dragon to get to the height. But go through the first portal so we can see all of it. Okay. We have to see her entire backstory, otherwise it makes no sense. The child just had bad vibes. Mm -hmm. Clouds. Oh god. I'm on fire. is doing the spinny thing. Hey, there's the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. So there's where the progression goes. Cool. Oh god, more... Back to the drawing board. More hostile children. Is there any point we need to talk to Jasper there? Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular Oh, but what have I said? That's almost impossible. Forget about it. The theater is doomed. 
Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. If Jasper was a woman with the same exact character design, it'd probably be like one of the best things in the history of the world. And be way less popular. Exactly. I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. Brutal burn. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This oh. play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, man. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those really quiet boxes. voice acting suddenly. Why are they being so quiet? Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalk and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Bubsy. Bubsy. Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script everybody. Let's practice. And action. was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Yeah. Yeah. My father has nobly smote in the face to his own death. He is a hero. Yay. And for the record, not a bad kisser. So there's a bunch of uh, stages that you can... Oh god. Ah, oh, fuck. So there's a bunch of areas that you can do that on where the actor will just immediately crash into the wall. Great. See, this is the problem with Glorious Level, is that it has one of the most detailed, like, backstories, but it's also really fucking hard to get it all in a coherent order. Yeah. Oh boy, this isn't working out any better. Oh, wait, oh, fuck. There we go. Okay. So... Whoa! Bites you! Doing a great job, Becky. Crispy! Crispy. Okay, so... How do I... Um, maybe change it to happy and run Night of Joy? Now she's manic again! Happy! Smile! Smile! I think this might be the one where it runs straight into the wall, but... Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and I think I want the male boat one. Makes sense. But I want to see it die anyway. 
<laughs> Daddy? Fuck's sake. Oh, another script? The day the mailboat finally came? Throws it away. Uh-oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail boat approaching. Happy! Happy. <laughs> Von Dutton? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay! Yay! Happy! Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Where's it taking, Raz? Raz! Raz! To hold it for set. Goodbye, my previously dear mother. I flee now to Europe to escape your insane jealousy over my amazing career. Hey, I thought you weren't jealous. Please do not leave me, Gloria, my daughter. Go now, and I shall do something unto myself both drastic and traumatizing to you emotionally. Yay! I love theater, don't you? Oh! Oh, great. Got him. Hey, it worked out for you just fine. What? Camera! Goodbye, Hagatha home. So is that gonna take me right back to here? Yep. Yeah. Up. Oh, yes. Yay! I got the one figment. Cool. Well, now go back to the next stage so we can see the sad version of it. Oh. uh... What yes. do you want me to do? Rerun the day the male carrot family came. So now you boat to the next area. And then you're gonna make it sad. Oh, oh. Pray tell me, my shady manager and rumored lover, must I truly ship my only daughter Gloria off to head of the homeschool for girls? Yes, and immediately, before she ruins our career. I mean, your career. No! Never shall I go! Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself. Personal. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, trauma. And dogs. Oh, fuck. What the hell is that? Oh, right. The bats? The freaking bats. So now you can go to that one. Which I think I've already been to, but... And who give a fuck? Now run the uh, mail truck one here. Sing, birdie. Yep, bet. Uh. <laughs> I think the mail boat finally came. Needs another one through, I think. Yeah, that one could use a little work. I say, I believe I do see the mail boat approaching. Sorry, 
No mail for you, ugly girl. <laughs> wow! <laughs> In your face, fatty. Mean! Rude. So that's what happened. Really happened. Okay, so now what the fuck am I doing? I don't know. Cool. I'm not annoyed. Do you have an extra script? Yes. I have no idea where to run that, but Goodbye, probably on the next home. one. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the. Hey, props. Is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And action. Go to the next one or the previous one. Yeah, I got it confused with the maple one. Right. Okay, up to the catwalks, I guess. Wait, I don't even have a fraction of the luggage, so let's hope it's gonna be here. Maybe. Phantom. I love how the subtitles spoil the uh, fates. Oh god. Phantom. Oh god, the music. Phantom. You are not welcome here. Hate that fucking sound. Watch your step. Oh, come on, asshole. He's being helpful. <laughs> Bird King Sapy. This guy just likes to chuckle and jostle. Oh, fuck off. There's her sensors. Oh god, the, the drama music. of it all. There's a tag. <laughs> you know about the sanctuary stuff, guy. Oh, 
be the last thing you do. <laughs> I am the Phantom. King Saint Beast, King Saint Beast. Bunches of them. Many of them. Kind of terrifying to think that King Saint Bee was inspired by these little doodles. Can you imagine? No, Linda didn't have sensors either. Oh. Which, I mean, she's a lungfish, so... Who knows what that means? Oh, vault. And happy! Fuck. Look out below! <laughs> okay, smack it. Okay, time for extreme sad. Glorious fallen star. So Gloria became famous. Her work at the Agatha's, well, the Hagatha School for Girls paid off, and now she was the most popular Broadway star of her time. And everybody loved her and adored her. And she was so famous. But her mother, who was a Broadway star in her own right, who did not have the level of success that Gloria did, and sent her off to Hagatha Hall School for Girls at the bequest of her then boyfriend, Hag. Gloria didn't know her father because her father died, and the boyfriend suggested that they ship off the kid because the boyfriend didn't want the kid sent to the school where they taught her horrible things, and she became a star, and the mother, unable to cope with her daughter being a bigger star than her, killed herself. It's all kind of hard to process within, like, the context of the plays, but that's what happened. And Gloria went insane and developed a bipolar issue, and uh, now she's in hell. Yeah, it's, it's kind of complicated to piece together, but uh, Gloria's mother killed herself because she was jealous of Gloria's fame because Gloria reached a level of fame her mother never achieved. And he's a little teapot. Just kidding. I am. Look at the music. He can't keep getting away with this. I'm getting sandbagged. I think the music might actually be dynamic with the uh, Phantom's comments. Happy! I love it when they're happy. Oh shit. I'm not happy. Which was a trick. Huh? Figment! Not be getting sandbagged. Oh shit! The Phantom. The Phantom. Also, there's a tag. You missed the tag. Go back. Go back. I'm I'm biz fine. Tag. I was doing other things. Oh well, here's a cutscene too. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Not oh, the candle. Free candle. Oh, you needed that anyway. Okay, fine. I win. Haha. <laughs> uh, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. No, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering the man. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. Okay, I am missing... There are no cobwebs in here, so I have to backtrack, and I'm missing two figments in here, so... Let's keep going. The figments are probably down there. I see what looks like one. No, it would be easier for me to backtrack right now. Okay, I see the other figment. It's down there. Yeah. What? That's it. We're done. Now we can finish the actual level. Go find oatmeal and get the hell out of here. So... Alright, careful now. 
I made it. I got an extra candle. Ooh, candle. Is it scented? Okay, Phantom. It's time to find out who you really are. Huh? That is a flattering cloak, I gotta say. I love how this is never explained. I totally guessed that. <laughs> uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never. How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel the that rugged has and romantic. And terrified audiences for years. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. Mean. He could never be you. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> he's the Nobody angry Nintendo nerd. Cool. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, popcorn might. Oh god, not the popcorn. Well then, how about these? <laughs> All right, time for a very boring boss fight. Yep. Campbells. So I'm desperate to know that I actually. Do I actually still have a candle? Uh, I'd love to find out. I know that this is probably a waste of time, but. No. Nope. Yes! Yes! Free candle! You have to get another candle now. I know. I was trying to locate somewhere over here. Good. Candle. Man. Man. Jasper really did a number on this spotlight. I'm gonna have to use another one. <laughs> Light it up. I am. Yeah, it wasn't a command, it was a statement. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank goodness for the bouncy upgrade. You don't even have to bother aiming your shots. Mm hmm. Wait, maybe you already have another candle. There was two candles there, right? Oh. <laughs> yep. Sure. All right, come on. Okay, three. Yes. Whew. Funny part. Take a little criticism. Like any death scene in the theater. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
Oh, shit. Ah, Jesus! Whoa, okay. Oh, that's actually really bright. Yeah, we don't have the lamp, the light on in our room, so that's actually lit up the fucking room. You better listen to me. You're no good. Funny this moment. Place. Funny this moment. Is worse than ever before. Oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. Can you hear me? Oh, you've got fat arms. You hear me? Big fat arms like a a little turkey gobble hanging from your neck. Ugh, your knees are ugly. And you snort when you laugh. All right. The spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Finally, recognition for my acting talents. So you know what that means. What does it mean? We have a model. We have a disguise. So, we could progress if we wanna. Yep. 